Never went terrible. No. <laughs> I mean, this is the same haircut I had all through college and uh -oh, you know, hold on. for how, I don't even know how many years. So bringing it back. COVID's bringing it back. <laughs> <laughs> how y'all doing so far? I think I'm safe. Actually, having to move, our landlord is um, gave us 30 days notice. Oh, shit. That's Damn. right. Um, the house sold last or a couple weeks ago, and the new landlord wants to come in and remodel. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of surprised he wants to put money into it, but, you know. I know. He's like, I'm going to get so much more rent this summer. I'm like, really? No <laughs> like one's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, <laughs> coming down right now are you sure you want to put cash in right now like why don't you just hold off and he's like i want to get started i'm like all right so we found a cool place on the east side cool okay, okay. you already got something That's figured good. out awesome yeah how you doing 2am um i have <coughs> oh no coughing yeah. oh no <clears throat> Yeah, I've been coughing since before March and it hasn't gone away. So I scheduled it. Oh, this is from that Waco trip or something. Yeah. Still? I don't know. Oh. Uh, uh, was coughing for like six weeks uh, from January through early March. Mm. Yeah, we had we had a small like a month spell of something. Ours know. was like cold yeah. though. It was like yeah, it was, nose and it, it did linger a little bit, but it was like a yeah. Like, like, cold. And now, like allergy meds and stuff and it hasn't really helped so i don't know like we're gonna go um get the uh, serology test to see if we have the antibodies for covid oh oh really cool. you are definitely let us know how that goes yeah quest diagnostics will do it for like a 100 bucks but you have to get referred by a doctor mm. but that was easy enough our insurance company like had a doctor that just like sent us a letter so Awesome. Good, uh, good, good, good for you guys. Yeah, we drove through uh, your neck of the woods uh, this last weekend, too, and we drove through uh, the domain and all the, the local parks just to kind of see what people were doing. We were bored, so. <laughs> I drove down south the other day just to car karaoke in my car. <laughs> nice. Yeah, driving? Yeah. All right. All right, so let's chat. get started with this right. training stuff. Uh, yeah, just do a quick warm up, uh, same as normal. So we're gonna start with the fingers. The warm up is same as normal. Same as normal, yeah. What well, we have planned today is slightly Full different. Extension to fist. Yeah, the format will be slightly different today. You know, we'll go like, through each stage, and you'll be able to see what we're doing. But we'll explain it, so don't worry about it. Look at that baby bump. Oh my God. I know. Yeah, it's she's getting big, guys. A ah! couple months left. Mm -hmm. I All hit right. 30 weeks. Finger flicks, so from closed to open. Oh, I'm a July birthday, too. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it's due, or are we due mid July? July 15th, so like right smack in the middle. Yeah. But check that out getting in the way of okay just the first two joints so when when you get to the close just squeeze as hard as you can kind of get that blood flowing into those to those fingers what's up aaron hey how's it going good representing the boston huh yeah somebody's got to and uh if anyone's on youtube you guys want to join Zoom? Obviously, you don't have to. Okay, shake it out. If you guys want to, I provide the link in the description. Some wrist rolls. Um, but you're more than welcome to stay on YouTube and check us out. That welcome way. to my life. This dog stares at me like this pretty much all day, every day. <laughs> Reverse direction. Also, I forgot to mention this last week, but um, if you guys are Shoulders. curious about small circles previous workouts we've done. Um, I linked in the, also in the YouTube description at the very bottom, there's a link to a spreadsheet that has reverse all the trainings we've done um, since like, I guess, September or October. Um, so if you guys ever wanted to like look at past workouts that we've done. Medium size. And what are one ideas for like workout, other workouts you can do at home outside of this time. 
you can go to that. I think it's just like a tiny URL link with reverse like Jimmy training. Um, there's also like a glossary in there. I haven't kept it super up to date with the latest stuff, but it has most of our exercise, like explanation of large, most of our exercises that we do. Like, <laughs> my shoulders cracking. Reverse. Oh, it's nice doing this one. I'm just kneeling. <laughs> Shake it out. Trunk twists. <laughs> Lightly bent over, same thing. Or something. Yeah. All right, shake it out. All right, so, All right. Yeah, you explain? so yeah, so the first section, what we're going to do is previously we typically just do fingers and we do back, then we do um, some core and fitness. We're going to be slightly different. The first group is going to end up being a series of workouts. So you're going to do a fingers thing. Today is going to be 10 second hang. 10 second rest three times. Then you're gonna get a three minute break. And then we're gonna do a series of Frenchies. The Frenchies are gonna change each round. So you'll have to listen to me to, for me to tell you which ones they're gonna do. But the first one's gonna be standard, which is gonna be high, middle, low, high, middle, low, high, middle, low. Then you're gonna get a three minute break. And then we're gonna do wrist rollers. So if you don't have wrist roller, a wrist roller uh, tool, that's fine. Um, if you do, you already know what it is. Um, if you don't have it, then what the best thing would be is to grab a light weight. It can be anything between one pound to five pounds. Or if you're super ball, you can go heavier. You can do heavier, but I mean, so you really wouldn't need to. You would just be out. So a no, let's start with what a, a regular wrist roller is like this little machine, right? Yeah. So it's just a stick with a rope and weight. And you're just rolling something up till it gets to the top. Instead of that, if you don't have it, just get a weight. And all you're gonna do is just be going like the same motion as a wrist roller with that weight. Yeah. So you'd have so you one, wanna, you'd have a weight in both hands. I just, just grabbed one. You want to focus on engaging this muscle. I mean, your shoulders are gonna be engaged because your your hand, your arm is static like this. But like you don't like so you wanna avoid like bending your elbow like that. Yep. So you're gonna have a 90 degree, your, your upper body to arm is gonna be 90 degrees. You're gonna be rolling, you're gonna act like you're rolling something up with your wrist always going up in a slow little way, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you're gonna, that'll be it. So you're, you're gonna feel a ton in here and then a ton on the top of your forearms. Yeah. It's definitely gonna burn. Yeah. If it doesn't, then you can just up the weight. Another thing you could get, uh, like even like a can of beans or anything that has some weight to it should, should work really well. Yeah, like if you don't have actual weights, something you can like pinch or hold in your hand to do this motion for. Okay. Water bottle. So let's go ahead and roll you guys closer okay. so we can go over. Let's see. Okay. Hey, so okay, now they're getting up. Let's go. <laughs> there are some problems up until. Yeah, so the hangs, like I said, 10 second on, 10 second off, three times. And then once we get that oh. three minute break, I will remind you what the next thing's going to be. So we're going to do this four times. So the first round isn't about going full effort, it's going to be getting your muscles all, all nice and warm. So, um, you should be able to make it all the way through each of the exercises, but definitely start feeling the blood flow and feeling some, some amount of fatigue. All right. So, and we're, and we're, since I'm doing the, since I'm doing the crimp block, each thing is actually going to have two, it's going to be like, so I'm going to go and I'm going to go with one arm for the hands. 
Yeah, then, so if there's two of you, one of you go with me, one of, one of yeah. you go with Jen. So it's going to be like that for all of exercises. So, yes. So even for the Frenchies, I'm not going to do the Frenchies the same time as him. I'm going to do them. Which reminds me of my thing. Yeah, also, uh, if you are on YouTube and you have any questions about what I've gone over or anything that we're doing, just uh, write in the comments and I'll peek at it from time in to time chat. to make sure. Yeah, in the chat to make sure I, I address what your questions are. So, All right, first okay, round. It's going to be annoying. Ten second on, second, second off, three times, hopefully, starting in ten please. seconds. Uh, hopefully I set that up. Well, we might have to set the reset. Starting in three, two, one, hang. Oh, I need to go now. Damn it. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Great. Here. You know what? Five. It's easy to put up. Though. Three, two, one, go. Great. One more of these, then you get a rest. Or if you're the second person. Yeah. Then you go. Three, two, one. Go. So again, we're doing 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times three. Great. All right. So if you're the second person, you're going to start in five seconds. You might have to restart it. I don't know what it is. Two, if it says, one, wait, wait, go. Okay. I can't remember. I can't remember if I set the timer up. So for me, that first one always kind of makes my fingers feel a little achy. I mean, not as far as it hurts or anything, but just for me, it takes a while to get my old joints, joints to get going. So you had, I mean, if you had a lot of more time or if you're patient, you would you could actually start rolling up one of these. That would be a deal. Yeah. Because you can control the weight on this rather than being body weight. Did you start the rest? Too? I did. Okay. So we can start that and just switch it to you. So we're going to rest, I guess, three minutes. Obviously, I'm resting. It's going to be a tight break. Yeah. So, so we've got two more minutes before our next exercise. The next one is going to be Frenchies. So if you haven't seen them before, they're going to look. I'll do one just so you see it. You're going to be on your pole bar. You'll, you'll hear a beep, you'll go pull up to the top hold for six seconds. You'll hear another beep, you'll go to 90. You'll hear another beep, you'll go to 135, so almost all the way down. You'll hear another beep, and you'll go back up. So you're gonna do three of those. Each round, those Frenchies, like the order of the Frenchies that we're gonna do is gonna be slightly different. So I'll explain each one before we get started. But for this first one, it's gonna be just the generic standard Frenchies, Top, middle, top, bottom, middle, bottom, top, top, middle, middle bottom, bottom, top, middle, bottom. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a six second interval for each interval yeah. if you're interested in setting up the timer. So it ends up being nine. All right, one more minute. Yeah. Nine seconds. Can you make it brighter? Let's see. Okay. I'm just trying to position it so it's positioned. Oh. Uh, yeah, Starting so in 30 seconds. I'm going to end up doing these twice because. At least she's a baller. That's only, she only just because. So if you're in the second group, like you with that left hand, you do in the second. The baby somehow helps her. I don't know. No, no, not definitely not a help. <laughs> it's more that at least with this Frenchie, these rows aren't terrible. All right, starting in ten seconds. So we'll see what the other ones. Are. Actually, I might take it back after this first one. <laughs> Three, two, one, top. Okay. 
Leo. One thirty-five, so almost all the way. But not almost. Top. Middle. One thirty-five. Top. One more time through. Middle. One thirty-five. Great. So we're gonna one more time for the pregnant people, second group. Second person starting in ten seconds. We'll see. I think I'm learning my take back by students. This might be the only one I do twice. <laughs> Two, one, top. Middle. 135. Top. 90. 90. One thirty five. Great. Yeah, as you guys can see, what the tool that Jen's using is really useful because it allows you to adjust to all different angles, all different ways of assisting the game to where you're doing with no feet. Yeah. Uh, the next workout, like we mentioned, is going to be the wrist rollers. Hey, real quick, what's that tool called? Like, if I were to get one, the, the real, like the, the high tech one is the TRX. That's the name brand. We do that. We have the knockoff one. This which... is a, it's the, the generic type of it. It's called a suspension trainer, is what they call like this type of thing. TRX is the most common one, um, most common name brand of this. Um, it's also the most expensive. This I just got on Amazon. I think if you just search suspension trainer, and obviously, if you search TRX, you'll probably get the same result too. But yeah, there's tons of them out there. Yeah. Um, this one is just, in my opinion, just as good as any TRX. Yeah. Um, there's some there, there are, Yeah, there are some that allow you do more workouts than others. For what we use it for, this does way more than we're ever yeah. going to use it for. We, so you can use it for core as it's well. It's really awesome for core, yeah. as you guys have seen for those in our, in our class. class yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the next one's going to be oh, wrist rollers. I'm going a second. Yeah, I'm going to go and then Jen's going to go, so yeah. you can follow either one of us. I want my full three minute rest. <laughs> it's going to be oh, for a, a full minute, but we've got 30 seconds before we start. Remember, form is the most important thing on all of these things. Yeah. So, so if you're not sure. Both people are doing the can thing? Yep. Okay. If you want to do the can thing, uh, what I'll, I'll go ahead and mimic that for the first round. I'll have the little weights. Do you want to use the five times ball? Oh, we only have three So we're going to start. So weights out, starting in three, two, one, go. And if you're doing this variation, you can do them at the same time. Yeah, you could do like this if you wanted to. Obviously, it's probably going to be a little harder since you're doing them twice as fast. But yeah, most important thing is but, don't, you're going to want, there's going to be a tendency to bend the elbows. You don't want to bend the elbows. Um, you want to really isolate this. 20 more seconds. And obviously, since this is the first round through, you're going to be able to adjust. So if it's too easy, you can add weight. If it's too yeah. hard, and really like try to lose some weight of it. 10, 10, 10 more seconds. Actually, sorry, my bad. It's actually fifteen seconds. <laughs> I forgot that there was an additional ten um, seconds in front of that. Another option I just thought of. Ten seconds. Is the 
resistance band, like, you know, depending on how big you are, uh, you can put it under your feet and then like do this too. That might great. be even harder. Second group is going to start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Again, using the wrist roller. Yeah, perfect. I want to do these slow because you do them fast to get tired faster. Yeah. Especially no matter what, it's going to be hard. I mean, for a whole minute is like. Yeah, too long. If we're doing reps, then I'll maybe I'll try to do them faster. But you can, like if we're doing like five, then my third one, and I'm already tired. I'm already Twenty tired. more seconds. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's a little more you get out of the actual wrist roller because you're having a little more of the side to side kind of motion with it. So I think it's working a little bit more of the small muscles on it. Three, okay. two, one, stop. Uh, so two more minutes till the, uh, do the finger hangs again. So we've gone all the way through one iteration. That was our warm up. So this <laughs> next round. You should definitely be pushing yourself to the point where you're feeling a good amount of fatigue. You should probably still try to get all the way through it. Um, you shouldn't be getting to failure yet yeah. until the third or fourth round. So you still want to gauge a little bit off of that, but you definitely want to start really ramping up your effort. Yeah. Still with the fingers, you want to be a little more careful. It's true. Yeah, fingers are the slowest and the hardest thing to warm up and the easiest to injure. So those ones you should be paying attention to the most. Joanne, that was the most careful chalking up I've ever seen. Careful. Careful chalking up. Yeah, she's dainty. She's got to, <laughs> one, one minute. It's on my bed, so I don't want chalk all over my bed. All right, 30 seconds. Ten. Again, 10 on, 10 off, three times. Two, one, go. Great. Two, one, go. No, oh, you're on the wrong timer. You're still on Frenchies, so that's oh. All right, sorry, we're going to that away. Yeah, <laughs> bonus time. I was like, why is it so fast? Bonus workout, 10 seconds starting in. <laughs> you got, it's like 12 extra seconds <laughs> on my hand. Or, Two, oh, group one. one, go. <laughs> group one's overachievers. <laughs> and break. Sorry about that. If Jen hadn't said so, we would have been off the races. Great. Well, Two, one. Yeah. Well, the rest is awesome. I thought I was getting stronger. Your <laughs> time just happened to start going faster. Great. One more of these. Two, one, go. Great. Group two starting in 10 seconds. That one. No, I already did it. I did it. Yeah. 
two, one, go. Great. Two more. Two, one, go. Two, one, break. One more. Two, one, go. And break. All right. So for this next round of Frenchies, they're going to be the reverse. So you're going to do 135, 90, top, 135, 90, top, 135, 90, top. Um, this one should be. So they will be substantially harder. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you get to where you can't, you're struggling at the end to get to let the last round through. Uh, what I would prefer you to do is just go ahead and do a jumping pull up to get to the top and then just, just hold, hold that or do a, do a slow net like fight gravity on the way down to do an exit. Yeah. yeah, even if you can't hold it, it's better to like try to hold it and like be in lower versus just like, you know, not doing anything. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm switched to. Yeah. Switch to. Oh wait, I don't, I'm not going this one. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing this one twice. That first one was right. This is really hard. So I'm gonna stick to my groups. One minute. Thirty seconds. That was. Yeah. Feels like we've got a ton of time right now, but it's gonna start. Yeah. Time dilation's gonna work. This would be the other one. Contraction. All right, starting in ten seconds. So remember, bottom, middle, top. Bottom, middle, top. Bottom, middle, top. Yeah. And one thirty-five is the bottom. Three, two. One, one thirty five. Middle next. Ninety. Ninety. Top. One thirty five. Ninety. So, try to breathe if you can. Last one, 135. One more pull up to your three positions. <laughs> 90. Got it. So, <laughs> break. Group two. Starting in 10 seconds. Two, one, bottom, so 135. 90. Top. One thirty five. Ninety. Top. One thirty five. Last one. Ninety. Top. 
Stop. Again, Darren. That one's hard. Sure. Yep, definitely harder. <laughs> uh. All right, wrist rollers are next. Be sure to adjust the most you can. So, like we said, if it was too easy, try to add a little bit more weight if possible. If it's too hard, reduce the weight. Woo. Wrist rollers have always reminded me of two things. And when I was a kid playing baseball, we did a ton of wrist rollers. We used to do a competition to see who could rip, do wrist rollers the longest. It's brutal, brutal, That brutal. sounds horrible. And then How can you do that? in high school, I was in marching band. I played trombone. So constantly keeping in that kind of like upward position for a long period of time just reminds me of that. I think they're very useful personally. Wrist rollers? No, they're really good for um, just if you have tendonitis issues, they're really good for that. Yeah, always been one of um, those. Just a good way to round out your climbing, your climbing muscles, but in this area. 30 seconds. All right, I'm going round two. Uh, Twenty. Thirty and ten. Three, two, one, go. Let me see what people are using for this <laughs> computer. Oh, you guys are using that's cool. A book, a book's really good. Book's good because it's yeah. big and it's got it's and the leverage. Yeah, yeah, I feel like the leverage would make it even harder. And Tuan's using thirty seconds. What is she using? <laughs> it looks. I can't tell. I don't want to like put my face up all over the screen either. <laughs> oh, and Aaron's got the little weights, weight plates. Oh, wait, what was that? A can. That was a can? The can. Ah, coconut seconds. milk. Nice. We got all kinds of all kinds of contraptions going on. That's Three, cool. two, <laughs> one, break. Group two. Starting in three, two, one, start. They're all kind of awesome. See there. Oh, I guess you won't be able to see all their different things. That's all right. I don't need to see. <laughs> oh, I'm going too fast. Now I'm tired already. <laughs> that was the baby crying out, Jen. <laughs> 30 seconds. So if you're like me, I felt it way more that second round, the upper forearm, did a little bit of that throb and action going on. 10 seconds. Okay. Five, two, one, break. Ugh. Tiring. Back to the top, two more of these. Starting with fingers again. You're gonna love these next Frenchies. Uh oh. That's right, uh oh. Alright, so I'm gonna do. So make sure you change the timer back to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I'll leave 
One minute. So obviously third round should be very warm. This should be probably your best round, hardest round. Yeah. 30 seconds. Well, maybe not for the French's part, but <laughs> yeah, I mean still. Okay. But the talk away. Oh, I can feel it now. <laughs> it's just 15. part of the training. Ten seconds, finger hang. Three, two, one, go. Great, two more. Three, two, one. Go. Break. One more. Three, two, one. Go. Break. Group two. Starting in five, two, one, go. One more. Two, one, go. And break. Or Frenchies time. Yeah, Frenchies. So you still got two minutes. Uh, For these Frenchies, what we're gonna do is you're gonna start at 90, you're gonna go to the top, you're gonna go 90, top, 90, top, 90, top, 90, top. Just alternating between half and full. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. So uh, this should be the hardest round. Um, same rule applies. If for some reason you can't get back up to that top, what I want you to do is go ahead and drop to the bottom, get your feet on the ground, jump, get to the top, hold that, and try to do it. Try to do you know from that top to 90 on the next one, and then again just do that. Jump to the top if you can. If that's also too complicated, no big deal. Just jump to the top and just try to do negatives while we finish the rest of the time. How many? Um, it's still Same. it's still nine things, so it's going to be ninety top, ninety top, ninety top, ninety top, nine. Oh no, so I did that backwards. Sorry, you're going to start at ninety and go to the top. You're going to just follow through with me. It's going to be starting at ninety top, ninety top, ninety top, ninety top, ninety top. It's ten things. Ten things. So we're actually going to be. So we're going to be on for six more seconds. Let me think that through. Give me one second. Do we have that timer for that, or do we have? Yes, yeah, so, so ten things. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's going to be technically six seconds longer. Six seconds um, longer and probably get the card. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'll be calling him out also. As well. Yeah. So, Basically, so, just keep going until he's starting. Yeah, starting <laughs> first thing's going to be at 90. Three, two, one, 90. You can keep it counting. Yeah. Top. Give me how many? Yeah, it's number two. two yeah. 90. Three. Let's see what people are doing. Yeah, I went through those pull ups. Top. Four. Look at those people. Look at all your people doing your pull ups. 90. Five. Looking good, guys. Top. Six. Ninety. Seven. Oh, someone tried. So. Eight. <laughs> no, no one loves French cheese. It's for me to chill. Ninety. Nine. I definitely hate French cheese. Last one. Yeah. So. He's got it. Pull, 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 pull. Uh. Or negative, negative. Uh. Nice. Group two. Starting in 10 seconds. Oh man. Oh man is right. <laughs> Three, two, one, 90. Top. Ninety. Top. Ninety. Top. Ninety. Top. Ninety. Last thing, top. Great. That one was hard. Yes, definitely <laughs> hard. Um, Jen's right. I do love Frenchies. Um, Why well, does them like three times a week? I do them a lot. Um, the reason behind it is definitely since we can't climb. <laughs> It's the best substitute I can think of that's really going to work your back in a way that is somewhat conducive to building strength for climbing. Um, obviously, I still believe that regular climbing, projecting climbing, doing movements in climbing is still the thing that's probably going to be the best for climbing specifically. But with what we have, working from home, climbing from home, training from home, Frenchies are the best because those pauses that you're doing are going to work all those micro muscles and stabilizers to get you in a position to hold, which is exactly what you do when you're climbing. Yeah, Just doing, doing regular pull-ups back in the day, used to be able to rip out 30 pull-ups. That's great and all, but I don't think that's nearly as productive for climbing than doing anything that's going to give you long pauses. Um, for a period of time, I was doing even super long holds. So I was doing minute holds at the top, then taking a break and doing minute holds on 90s. I think that's a bit overkill. Uh, by the way, we're like starting in 20 seconds on the on the, on the wrist rollers. That also sounds like you could definitely injure your- And that, that's the thing, is you're gonna build more tendonitis issues by doing that. Yeah. It, it can be done correctly, but it's not as recommended. Yeah, you have to be able to Okay. Super long. Starting in three, two, one. Go on the wrist rollers. Yeah, with Frenchies, at least it combines pulling and locking arms together. Yeah. So you're not doing just one thing; you're kind of doing on the side. Definitely, the long holds with a minute. What happens is, is your your elbows in a compromised position or in a really strained position for a really long time, which is what causes 
like the the issues that I got, which is some inflammation and some tendonitis doing it. Um, I mean, if you have a hangboard and you really wanted to like multitask, you could do crunchies on the edge. 20 seconds. And then you'd be doing fingers back and off and at the same time. Yeah, I like to isolate a little bit more, but it is true. That's a good workout too. If 10 seconds. Ah. <laughs> Just roll pain. Two, one, break. Group two. Okay. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Group two, go. Yeah, the six seconds is just long enough to really get you to have to fight, and you start getting the Elvis arms starting to do a big shake but not long enough that I feel like you start com compromising mm -hmm. your elbow joint or your shoulder joint or any other points. I'll take a walk around the room because that makes it easier for me. Yeah, walking, stretch <laughs> rollers, it's kind of nice. <laughs> it's, <just> like, <laughs> it's like another thing that I'm doing that's like distracting me from what I'm doing. <laughs> Come back this way. Fifteen. Oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Five, two, one, break. One more time through, and then we'll move on to uh, the more fitness to the next thing. Everyone's favorite part. Jen's favorite part. I don't know if it is my favorite part. <laughs> how is your how is your eating coming along jenny i know you were having some um morning sickness and just overall the morning sickness went away after like first trimester, first trimester. not like right after first, first trimester but we got better definitely in the second trimester um now I'm just running into like, I think the typical third trimester stuff, which is like digestive. It's more like because my, now my uterus has pushed my stomach like all over here. Like I literally eat like two, like an orange or something and I'm like full, but I'm still, still hungry. So it's like hard to, I don't eat, I can't eat full meals anymore because. There's no room. I mean, I would, I could, but then I'd just be utter pain for a while, which has happened. Um, so that's like my most annoying thing. Sleeping has been like totally random. Um, like I definitely get up, I get up or I wake up every like one and a half to two hours now. But that's, I mean. That's been pretty long. Yes, yeah. <laughs> That's been going on for, for a while. I'm Unfortunately, to, that doesn't get any me. better after the baby comes. That's true. I'm just, baby is just, you know, I'm just, they're just training me for when the baby comes. And I, we have 15 to, seconds on the finger. Never sleep. So. so similar to climbing training, you've been like training. 10 seconds. Yeah, right? Intervals. <laughs> Intervals. Exactly. Three, two, oh, one, go. go. <laughs> Right. Yeah, another thing that I've lost into is like now I'm definitely feeling like physical, like just because it's too big. One. It's like in my four. way for a lot of things. And um, I'll be definitely just feel more pressure down in my pelvic area. Great. One more. Um, Last one of these fingers. Push it. But nothing. Three, like, two. No pain one. or anything. Yeah. There you go. I try to be nice to Ann. I do a lot of like lower body or fitness stuff during the week. Break. I'm starting to try to do more yoga. Second group. More yoga too. Which is actually really good when you're pregnant. Three, two, so for anyone, one, go. Yoga is really good for pregnancy. Right. I actually might be 
more like two more well-rounded fit now than before just because i've been two <laughs> one go i've been doing a lot less of climbing training and more for just general other training right one more we're all getting prison fit yeah yeah right that's true. It's like, well, what else are Three, we going to do? Three, <laughs> two, one, go. Yeah, the dogs love it because, you know, he's home more and we're going on walks so much more than before. We're upstairs a lot more, which they love being up here because it's kind of like a little rumpus area. Yeah. All right. All right, one last, the one last more round of the Frenchies. Oh. And those Frenchies are going to be back to the standard. So that's top, middle, bottom, top, middle, bottom, top, middle, bottom. So we did the first one. Isn't it nice when it plays out where that, those now become like the easy the Frenchies? <laughs> Except they're at the end. So Definitely like... in comparison. Well, we still haven't done what well, you guys have done French years. Those are even. Those way, are all worse. Those are even way <laughs> worse. Maybe we'll do those next week. We'll see. <laughs> For those that don't know what Frenchy ears are, those are Frenchies. Stay tuned. No, no, they'll oh, have to check uh, okay. in next week for them. Okay. They're terrible. Never mind. We'll find out. Only one way to find out. Yeah, spoil. Time to get <laughs> little teaser out there. All right. I'll be around later until the next one. One minute. Baby's moving. Taken. Oh. <laughs> Something weird. <laughs> Point. If anyone knows anyone that has a pool that they've let ten seconds someone that's pregnant use sometimes. Three, two, <laughs> one, top. After you do these wrenches. Middle. One thirty five. Top. Middle. One thirty five. One more. One more close. Top. Two more positions. <laughs> Middle. The last Frenchies of today. 135. Unless you're, I guess, in round two. Great. Top middle. Group, group two, starting in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Middle. One thirty five. Top. Middle. One thirty five. Top, last one. Middle. One thirty five. Great. Everyone's on Frenchies. 
One more thing of wrist rollers. My real family. Your. Yep. One minute. Thirty. Thirty. Fifteen. Five. One. Great. Group two, starting in three, two, one, go. Things where like 20. it's really good for you to do them, but it's really hard when you're like, I don't want to do that. These are really good. 10. <laughs> like, ramble on. Ramble on. <laughs> Two, one, three. Huh. All right. I'm going to roll you guys over. So Shoulders. Great by now. Yeah, and it's not like we're not going to do more shoulder stuff. Oh, sweet, we are. All right. Um. Got computer plugged in, so we're not going to run out of power this time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. So the first. We have five stations, um, but it's really three exercises because two of them are side reads. So, let's see. Okay, so again, if you have a weight, you just need to be able to hold it. Um, well, so you just like. But you don't technically 
Again, anything from um, two and a half, five pounds, eight pounds, 10 pounds, anything similar to that will be perfectly fine. We'll show you what it's gonna be in just a second. I'll demonstrate five pounds. All right, so first one, the side plank variation with, with something else added. Um, so you're gonna get into a side plank, side plank on the forearm. But obviously if this feels horrible, you can always do a straight arm variation which is up here. And so side plank like so, but what we're gonna do, you're gonna do a fly, then to a lateral raise, fly down. Now realize as she's doing that, you need to be really trying to be as stable as possible. If you lift that weight too much, you're just gonna topple over. So yeah. it needs to be nice, smooth, controlled motions. So you can also do this with no weight too. Yeah, would still be a great workout. Yeah. And obviously the other, and you can back. always do knees yep. for variation as well. Key to that, all form still applies. Your tailbone needs to be tucked, so that means yeah. your, your core is engaged. And you need to make a good straight line between your, your upper shoulder to the lower shoulders yeah. to the elbows or hands to the yeah. ground, so you have a straight line, and making sure that the elbow's inside. The and then so like really hip to the sky. Up. So that is the first one. So that's one side and the next side. First two stations. This next one is, is a just standing side leg lift. So you're gonna stand um, with a balance and also um, glute and oblique. So you're just gonna stand, balance one leg, and just lift this as high as it comfortably can go, and down. It's so gonna vary for everyone. The key is slow and controlled. You don't want to be doing like, oh, that doesn't sound very good to me. You want to like make it slow and controlled. Pause at the top, and down. So we're going to do one side at a time. And so the hardest thing about this is note that her upper body is not tilted. Yeah, you don't want to get into this tilty yeah. thing. Minimum You want tilt. to try to keep this. You'll naturally straight. have a little bit, but you want to try to use your core to kind of control that. Yeah. that and really use your hip to, to pull your leg yeah. up. So even when you get to the top, you can, you can even like kind of crunch your body this way, which will also help the tipping. Okay. That's the next two. And then this last one is a bear position and it's variation. So this, what you're gonna do, you're gonna get in bear position and you're gonna lift one limb at a time, but in a very specific way. So I will show you. Okay, so both my thing is keep this tight. Or tight, right. same thing you would doing any kind of bridge. So bear, tabletop. This bear. Is bear is like you're in tabletop, but your knees are hovering. Just barely above the ground, anything from like three to five inches. What we're gonna do, keep everything tight, lift the limb without like- No twisting. twisting. Keeping your body square. You're gonna lift. Side, lift, back. So similar to the side plank thing, but you're gonna go forward, out, and down. And then you're gonna do that with your legs too. Out, side, out. So you're gonna do arm, arm, then leg, leg, and then just repeat. Yeah. Just go around, make sure you just hit each one. Well, you hit it. Change up the order if you want. Um, just change. Just make sure you hit each one. Yeah, if you have any questions, just yell them out. Uh, uh, we're otherwise, we're going to go through them and you can just follow through by, by watching us yeah. uh, in the video. Yeah. All right, so let's get so started. For the time, it's going to be 45 seconds each exercise with a 15 second break. And we're going straight through all of the things. And we're doing the same thing. So the first one's going to be the side plank with weight. Uh, weight for arm variation. Okay, first round starting in five, two, one, go, up, down, breathing, 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten. 
10. Great, switch sides, you got 15 seconds. All right. Starting in five, two, one, go. Halfway. Ten. Great. Now the standing. Side leg lifts. Standing side. Five, two, one, go. I got coke, baby, son. <laughs> Ten. Break, shake it out. No, I guess what I failed to mention with these, it doesn't matter. I think, I guess, it's only iterated. It doesn't matter how high your leg is on. No, you'll notice my kind of going nearly as high as Jen's. Five. Two, one, go. One leg is better at bouncing than the other one. The second round is always hard because the more I can. Yeah. I'm doing something with the other leg. Yeah. So if you remember, I guess we saw you started around. I was trying the other side. Yeah. Time. All right. Oh, cheeks. Ouch. <laughs> Ten. Great. Last one. Bear the bear. When with the bear. With the limbs. Limbs out. Out and out limbs. Starting in five. Two. One. Yep. Is the bear position, is it being too much? You can always go down, drop your knees down. So I've always been... Five. Great. Right. Back to the yeah. top. You're breaking nope. up. All right. <laughs> Straight to it. Straight back to those points. Thirty five. Old school. Nope. And go. <laughs> Jenny, old school, no breaks. <laughs> 15 seconds is a lifetime of breaks. <laughs> and too nice. <laughs> Shoulders are loving it right now, right? <laughs> Thanks for me.
10. Break, switch. Okay. Five. One, go. Whoa. I brought my weight up a little too fast that time. <laughs> Ten. Break. Side leg lifts. Three, two, one. Other side leg if possible. Remember. Ten. Switch. Fifteen seconds. Five. Go. Ten. Break. One more time through. I know you wanted it to be done. One oh, more no, time. The bear position. Oh, sorry, the bear position. <laughs> All right, I bear position, forgot. then one. Then one more time through. All right. Everyone's favorite. Yep. Two. I love the bear. One. Bear. Love it so much, I completely forgot about it. <laughs> Ten. All right, back to the top one more time through. Now only have one more time through. Drop the bone. Jones, good guy. Five. Two. One. Go. Ten. 
10. Break, switch sides. Whoa! Last round, best round, right, guys? Three, <laughs> sorry, three, two, one, go. Ten. Break. Oh. Three last things. Two standing things. Two standing things One more in a, bear position. In a bar. <laughs> and then, and then we'll be down. Three, two, one, go. Ten. Break. Ooh. Other side. Five. Two. One. Go. Ten. Great, last thing, Bear. One more station left. Best station off. Five. Last thing, make it good. And go. Ten. Break. All right. We're done. We're done. Uh, one quick note. Um, a purely optional thing. Oh, yeah. It's a small challenge. Uh, what the challenge is, is to pick one of the first items that we did. So it's either you pick the finger, the Frenchies, or the wrist rollers. You pick one of those to do sometime later this week. And you pick one of these core like things. So you need, there's only three of them. So you'd either be doing the side plank, you'd either be doing, or doing the, the leg lifts, the, the side leg lifts, or the bears. 
So you'd be doing two workouts. You're picking one from the front first group, one for the second group. Obviously, purely optional. optional. Just anytime normal. this week. If you do happen to do it uh, next week when we start our class, if you tell us what it is, uh, that would be awesome. Yeah. Other than that, thanks for joining us again. Yay. Virtual high five. Virtual high five. Good job for surviving the workout. See y'all next time. <laughs> Thank you. May the fourth be with you. May the fourth yeah. be with you. <laughs> Bye. Uh, take care.